Okay, well, you know, the other, uh, of course, uh, pharma was the flavor of the week, but the stock that was, uh, you know, disliked this week was M&M after what happened. And I want to discuss that because, you know, they decided to buy the 3.5% stake in RBL Bank. After that, they said that, you know, oh, we might raise the stake further to about 9.99%. It was viewed very negatively by the street. So just for the benefit of our viewers, revisiting that story, remember, a stake buy in RBL Bank is a non-core investment for M&M. And M&M has had corporate governance issues in the past as well, where they've invested in a lot of loss-making subsidiaries in a lot of non-core investments. They tried to correct that by coming out with a proper, clear strategy on their corporate, uh, you know, uh, governance uh, policy as well as their capital allocation policy. They said that, you know, they have an 18% ROE target for most of their businesses. They divided it into A, B, C categories. So everything was clear. And now all of a sudden they come out saying that, oh, you know what, we're buying 3.5% in RBL Bank. So that didn't go down well with the street. Uh, but of course, there may be a larger play involved, perhaps with MMFSL. You never know. Uh, but your thoughts on what an M&M investor should do?